So that's a little bit of the boys of the lock, one of the big reels of the Sligo tradition, probably made most famous by Michael Coleman's 1922 recording. Michael Coleman was from the heart of South Sligo, rising Calaval, and he emigrated to America in the early 1900s and became one of the very first big recording artists of the Irish tradition. And he had a worldwide impact, both in America and back here in Ireland, and the Boys of the Lock was one of the tunes he made most famous. So it's a tune with its roots very much in the tradition and in the tradition of the South Sligo style of music. It's very rhythmic. The, the melodic structure that it has is very in keeping with the fiddle tradition that was around Calaval at the time Coleman would have recorded it. And it was very, very suitable for dancing as well. So you can see why it, it was such a popular tune. Uh, even the title of the reel, The Boys of the Lock, it really makes us think about the environment that these musicians came into. And we think about people like Tommy Flynn and the MacDonald Brothers of Ballina Fad, who lived and farmed on the shores of Loch Arrow. And it was a tune really, its roots in Calaval, but really had a wide impact across the whole county. Just up the road from Michael Coleman's home place in Calaval, there's a recreation of a thatched cottage. And the Thatch Cottage really was the focal point of music within South Sligo and Ireland. It's where people mess, shared and thought about music. I suppose it really was what was to become the Rambling House in later years. So for generations, the Boys of the Lock have been played here in Sligo and its appeal really hasn't been lost. And I'm delighted to be able to play it and share it now and teach it on to future generations of in Sligo. So I suppose this is my interpretation of it anyway.